Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really happy to have you here. If you're new, hi, I'm Haley. I cover fashion, style, everyday life here on YouTube. And today's video is another one about the Nordstrom anniversary sale that is now open. Icon members and now ambassadors can shop. I've created an entire lookbook full of outfit inspiration. Obviously, living in the UK, well, not obvious really to you, but if you know me, if you follow me on Instagram and you followed my blog for years, you know I am American, but I now live in the UK. So it's harder for me to shop the sale in person and give you guys you know, actual like styled outfits on my body. So I decided to create a digital lookbook for you guys to kind of give you that outfit inspiration without me actually um, wearing the items. If you would like the lookbook, please do see the subscribe button down in the description box for the Nordstrom sale newsletter community. That is who it is specifically for. You have to be a newsletter subscriber to get it. So be sure to sign up through that link and it'll be sent to your email inbox. Uh, today's video is all about what I purchased from the Nordstrom sale so far. Um, historically, the Nordstrom sale is one of those Moorish type of sales. They have so many great things and it's honestly impossible to get all the things that you wanted in one go. Um, so I made my first purchase yesterday. I do have icon status. I was able to make my purchase yesterday. So yeah, let's get into what I bought from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. All right, first let's talk about the outerwear pieces that I bought. Outerwear is a department that I mentioned in my last video, all about what you should think about buying during the Nordstrom sale. It'll pop up either here or here. And outerwear is admittedly one of my weaknesses. I absolutely love buying coats and I probably have way more than I actually do need. I think there are so many dreamy silhouette options when it comes to outerwear out there, so sometimes I just can't resist. I do feel very proud of myself because I I was so tempted by so many of the options, so many of my favorites that I love. I'll, I'll put my favorites graphic here so you can kind of see some of the ones that caught my eye and I'll leave the blog post that those are all linked in down below. So I try to keep myself in check and um, be on my best behavior while I was shopping the Nordstrom sale and only really buy what would be the best investment for my wardrobe because that is always the advice that I give to you guys. Um, and I landed on two outerwear pieces this year. The first is a beautiful camel colored wrap coat that's a wool material made by Reese, which is a UK fashion brand here. It's a more premium brand, definitely a bit pricey. Um, so the fact that I got it on sale was really, really tempting. Although I'll have to look at what it sells for here and do the conversion and see if it was really a smart uh, purchase or not, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna believe that it was a good idea because it was on sale. From what I can see, it looks like an absolutely stunning, beautiful, chic, sophisticated, just overall stunning wrap coat. And I wore my camel wrap coat that I purchased from Mango last year. I actually purchased it in 2020. And I've worn that so much in the last two years and it's still in great condition. I can still wear it and I probably will still wear it, but Reese, their materials and what they use is just a little bit more elevated, like five steps up from what Mango makes in terms of quality. So I just felt like this would be a really great investment for my wardrobe considering how much wear that Mango wrap coat has gotten. So when it comes in, I will definitely let you know what it looks like, how it fits and all the things. I do wanna just quickly say, I feel like this video might be a little lame in the sense that I'm not actually showing you and, and showing off what I wore so you can see the fit and how it moves and things like that. Admittedly, my partner is turning 40 this year and he um, is away with all of his best friends um, celebrating all of their 40th birthdays. So I just feel like that definitely took priority over me venturing back to the States to shop the Nordstrom sale. But maybe next year I will make a special trip just to cover the sale. It is something that I've always covered and always covered extensively. So I feel a bit like I'm not doing the best of jobs that I could do, but I am truly doing the best that I can do being here in the UK. But next year, this is gonna look a little bit different and I'm really excited about it. But anyway, let's move on to the next outerwear piece. All right, the next outerwear piece that I bought is this really fun plaid blazer from Treasure and Bond. I feel like my style throughout the entire year does have mostly a feminine feel to it, but in the spring and summer, I have the feminine, like really like flowy, beautiful dresses, but then I also sometimes lean a little bit more in the boho direction. So I can, I like to kind of fluidly go between those two aesthetics. That's just what feels right for me. And then in the fall and the winter, I still have that feminine 
um, style that you'll see a lot. But then I also, instead of boho, lean a little bit more to the edgy side. So I wear jeans a little bit more, and I definitely wear black a little bit more in the fall and the winter, but in fall and winter, you'll never see me wear black. So my style is a little bit funny in that way, and that's why I was so drawn to this plaid blazer, because I last year bought an Anine Bing, uh, I think it was Houndstooth blazer, and was it Houndstooth, or was it? I can't remember. Anyway, I'll put a photo here on the screen so you can see. But I bought this blazer, and I just loved it. It was so warm. It was such a great, like, throw on over like an oversized sweater and leggings and I just love that look. I love that feel. I feel really confident and I just feel really cool as well. I'm like the least cool person in this world and I'm so not like a like an edgy girl. It's like don't sit with me. I don't know why that like that style kind of gives off that vibe because that's so not my vibe but I just feel like I can rock it in the fall and the winter. Why am I rambling about this? But anyways, I really like the blazer. I bought it. <laughs> and I envisioned myself wearing it with um, like faux leather um, trousers, a pair that I bought during the sale I think would look really nice with it with like a nice um, like cashmere turtleneck and maybe some um, Chelsea boots or over the knee boots of some kind. So anyway, I thought it was a really nice um, pick. I only have, you know, that Anine Bing blazer that kind of fit within that that style and that realm, so I felt like it would be um, a nice addition to my wardrobe in that now I have a few more options when I'm feeling a little bit cool girl, you know? All right, next, let's talk shoes. I am such a shoe girl, such a shoe girl. It's a, it's a problem. Um, so I bought four pairs of shoes. Um, I was really impressed with the shoe department, and honestly, it took a lot of self-restraint um, to only buy four. Um, I bought two pairs of black shoes that'll be really great for fall and winter looks. One is a pair of Steve Madden pointed toe ankle booties. Um, I really liked these because it looked, because they looked like at the ankle, it'll really kind of fit your ankle versus being like super structured, um, which I really, really like. I think with leggings, those kind of booties look really, really chic and nice um, and I also think these kind of booties um, do really well underneath um, wide leg trousers um, which you know I, I do feel I gravitate towards during the winter months with some long johns underneath if I'm trying if I'm really wanting to look really put together and still have an elevated look while also staying warm so yeah I went with the black option of those and then I also got a pair of black loafers um, if you follow me on Instagram or on my blog, you know I love loafers. I don't know what it is about them, but I just, I think that they're really cute and comfortable and they just, uh, we just vibe. Sorry about the change in the lighting. We're a little bit blue toned now. But yeah, I found a pair of black loafers that aren't too clunky. I feel like that is oftentimes what I find. Um, I wanted one of those loafers that look, that look really cool. You know, like I feel like the loafers that I have are very polished, you know, and they're very sophisticated looking, but I didn't mind if my black loafers had a bit more of a cool edge to them. I just didn't want them to look too trendy. I wanted them to kind of look like, you know, I could wear them for multiple years without them going out of style per se. So I found these and I think that they're really, really nice. They're $89.90, um, so under 100 I'm excited to style these with um, like a pair of faux leather, like cropped trousers uh, or something like that. So you'll have to stay tuned to see how I style them, but I did style them a few times in the in the Nordstrom sale lookbook that I created for newsletter subscribers. As I mentioned before, you can get the link to that down below. All right, the next pair of shoes that I got were the Steve Madden Fleur Pointed Toe Mule. These are a newer version of this mule that was shared last year um the chain link on the top last year was like this gold this gold chain and i just couldn't really get behind it um i was like surely maybe after people style it i'll think they're cute but no i i just did not like it i just felt like it was too much gold it looked a bit tacky in my opinion so i really like this more i don't know what it's made out of like acrylic or 
Uh, I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it looks more understated and chic in my opinion. And I love a pointed toe shoe, whether it's a booty or a mule. So these were right up my street. I was not sure what color to get, but I ended up going with the beige. I feel like I will get the most use out of that color. So they'll be linked down below. And the last pair of shoes that I purchased were a pair of sneakers. <laughs> um, I feel like I wear sneakers a lot in my like offline life. I just find them to be the easiest when it comes to running around, whether it is us going for like a walk in the park or me running out to get Louis or running to the store real quick. I put on a pair of joggers, you know, a more form-fitting top, a cardigan or a jacket and sneakers and I am out the door. I keep it super casual and super easy, no fuss. Um, so I really liked this pair of Nike sneakers. I just felt like they looked so cool and also really timeless and sophisticated with the color palette so I I couldn't resist these so I will leave these linked down below for you guys all right next I wanted to share the denim and non denim bottoms that I bought from the Nordstrom sale I actually bought four bottoms from the sale which I was actually surprised about I did find quite a few bottoms that I really really liked but I didn't necessarily need um, so I was actually surprised that I ended up buying um, four things in this department, but I do feel like they were all justified for one. I feel like my dark denim skinny jean options aren't quite where I would like them to be. I have a pair of Hudson skinny jeans that I really like. I love the way they fit, but they're not high-waisted. I'm like, when did I buy these and why are they so like low cut? So they really kind of annoy me with how low they are and then um, I have one other pair and they're by J. Crew, and I love them, um, but I can't really think of how to describe the denim. It's, I kind of wanted a stretchier denim option that was high-waisted, form-fitting, and really sleek. So Joe's jeans have never done me wrong, and Joe's jeans are always what I tend to look at during the Nordstrom sale because they always have some really good options. They just fit really good. They fit like a glove and the price is always really good as well. So um, there are two styles of skinny jeans by Joe's on the sale and they're, uh, they're just under 100 and I went with the one that's not the raw edge bottom so I'll link them down below but this is what they look like. Um, it's literally an identical pair to a pair of Joe's jeans that I bought in the Nordstrom sale in 2014 and I literally had for five years and wore them so much uh, to the point that I was like, okay, these are kind of like, I'm running these into the ground at this point because I've worn them so much. I mean, I'm proud of that. I'm, that's, that's what you should be doing with your clothes, right? Um, but it really um, was a testament to how well Joe's jeans are made and how well they you know, wear over time. So highly recommend Joe's jeans personally, and I got a pair of those. And then I also got a pair of cropped wide leg jeans that I am newly, surprisingly, really into. I bought this pair of white wide leg cropped jeans in early spring, um, a white pair, and I got them on Shopbop's website, and I have worn them so much. I just find that they are so flattering and really cute, and I find I'm styling them a ton, so I got myself like an actual like blue jean option that look almost identical, so I'm really excited to see how they fit when they come in. The other two bottoms that I bought are faux leather options, the first being a faux leather legging option by Topshop. These are in a beautiful beige color. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so tired of faux leather leggings only being available in black. Like, there are other color palettes that we can tap into and create outfits around than black. So, yeah, I'm just so pumped to see a lighter color option. I bought a pair um, of faux leather leggings in a beige color from H&M last year, and I wore them quite a bit, and it was really, really nice to feel like I could lighten up my outfits versus having to kind of create an outfit around black all the time. So I really like to see that there was another uh, faux leather legging option in a beige color available to me so that I have a couple of different options to choose from um, during those colder weather months. They are just under $50, so I will report back and let you know what the quality is like when I get them. The other faux leather option that I chose was a pair of cropped 
trousers or pants by a brand called Halogen and I got those in a black color. Um, I thought they would be really cute paired with that blazer that I shared earlier as well as those um, black loafers. I felt like those would be a really great combo to kind of wear together with a nice um, like cashmere turtleneck in a black or a camel color. Um, so yeah, I like love mixing browns and camels and blacks all together in the fall and the winter. So I think that those all would kind of really um, flow really well together. I style these pants quite a bit in the lookbook as well. Um, so definitely check that out if you have always been wanting to maybe style um, this type of pant but been a little bit intimidated as to how you can style them and um, how many ways in which you can style them. I do think that there's a lot of variety there but sometimes I think you just have to really challenge yourself to go outside of your comfort zone and embrace a look that you think is really fun but that you haven't ever styled before. So I think this I think these pants would also look really I think these pants would look amazing with a pair of like pumps and a nice blouse for work um, or a work event of some kind. Definitely try and think outside of the box. I think these are a really great option. So I'll leave them linked down below. All right, next let's talk knitwear. That's, that's what I want to say instead of the word sweaters. Sometimes you say sweaters and people think the sweaters in the end sale that are under 50. No. Those are not bad to buy, don't get me wrong. Like I have plenty of those and I've, I've had plenty of those over the years. So like I'm, I'm not like snubbing my nose. I'm just trying to be more intentional about how I use this sale and I'm trying to make um, some more lasting investments in my wardrobe when it comes to Nordstrom sales, so that's all. Um, so the sweaters that I bought are uh, more investment pieces. Um, they're made out of like wool and cashmere. I bought two sweaters and two sweater dresses. So the first sweater that I bought is this one. It's by All Saints and it is 100% wool. It has a funnel neck. It's a little bit loose fitting and then it kind of um, fits a little bit better around the waist. I got the gray color. I think it's really, really beautiful, but it comes in two other colors as well. Even though the price on sale is still pretty pricey, um, I have to look at how much you're saving and also how much you're going to get in terms of use out of it and how many years you'll be able to have it in your wardrobe because it's made out of good quality material. Um, I felt like it was a really good elevated option when it came to a sweater. It wasn't like a typical, um, you know, crew neck fitted. It was a little bit more chic in its silhouette and so I thought that it would be really nice for nice dinners out with John um, or something like that. So really, really like this option. The next piece of knitwear that I got is amazing because it's reversible and it's made out of cashmere and wool and it's under a hundred dollars. It is this really pretty reversible like Ruana it's called or poncho. You can just throw it over your shoulders and it kind of completes and elevates your look a bit. Uh, I styled this so much in the lookbook as well and that's part of the reason why I bought it because I was like dang like this could really go with so many outfits. Um, it'll be great for travel or for bringing with me to a restaurant to kind of just throw over my shoulders and keep me warm or something along those lines. I think it is a really chic option to have in your wardrobe. All right, the next two pieces of knitwear are the sweater dresses, and these are also made out of cashmere or wool, um, so they're definitely gonna be in my wardrobe for a really long time. They're versatile, they're gonna go with a lot of things, and not only that, they're really timeless, so they're never gonna go out of style. I feel like that is truly what makes the money that you spend worth it when it comes to um, the items that you choose during the Nordstrom sale. What is going to last and continue to be in style. Um, I love that these two pieces are not ever gonna go um, you know, out of style or not be trendy anymore or anything like that. So the first one is by Theory. This one is the pricier one of the two. It's 90% wool and 10% cashmere. And I just think overall, it's a really classic silhouette. I love gray. I love pairing gray with um, like any other like neutral color on like the brown to beige um, color scale. <laughs> like I, I love pairing it with chocolate brown or a camel color um, or a nice beige or a lighter color gray. Like I just feel like it can go with so many different colors and um, scarves, outerwear, boots. Like it literally is so versatile. So I love this one. Definitely an investment. <laughs> Don't get mad at me um, if it's outside of what you would spend. I totally understand and get it. Um, just for me, I know that there is a very similar um, dress that I had purchased last year from H&M. Um, definitely wasn't made of anywhere near the material that this was and I wore it 
all the time. And so I just know that this is gonna be something that I'm gonna have in my wardrobe for a long time. I'm always gonna wear it um, and get a lot of use out of it. So that is the first one. And the second one is um, a little bit different. I was a little bit nervous about this one because it has slits on the side. It is a little bit shorter than the other one. I think I prefer the length of the first one. And this one has a V-neck, which is also something that I don't typically wear in the fall and the winter. So I feel like this one is the one that I'm kind of like rolling the dice on. Um, but it's 100% cashmere. The price is a little bit, um, a little bit more, um, I guess, tolerable when it comes to um, pieces that you buy that are cashmere, um, just under 150. Um, but that's you know, down from a much higher um, price considering that it's on sale. So those are the two sweater dresses I bought and I'm so excited to style them in the fall and the winter. All right, we are almost done with what I bought from the Nordstrom sale. The next two pieces are um, activewear pieces. These are um, just kind of easy throw-ons that I just thought looked really like nice and cool. First one is a funnel neck or turtleneck um, a sporty sweatshirt from Zella. Zella always does a really great job with their active wear, and I just loved that this came in a beautiful white color. Again, I feel like active wear is always dark colors, and so anytime I see any active wear in white, I'm like laser focused and I want it, um, and this one was no exception. So I'm really glad that I snagged this one. And the other piece of active wear that I bought is this really cute pink Nike sweatshirt. I just was like, I mean, that's me in a sweatshirt. You know, uh, that color just, makes me really happy and I I was raised in Florida so living here in the UK I love it but I'm cold a lot so I'm constantly grabbing for a cardigan or a sweatshirt or something along those lines just kind of give myself a little bit of warmth and um, coziness and I know that that is going to do the trick so I'll leave those two linked down below for you all right and then in the accessories department I went for two things and these were actually two items that I went back for. Like I made my first purchase and I was like, no, I should have gotten these. I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I was nervous to buy these because I think it's always really helpful to buy sunglasses after you've put them on. But I ended up getting two pairs of sunglasses because I also have a problem with sunglasses as well. I like having options. And I ended up buying the Dior sunglasses and the Celine sunglasses. I'm a little bit nervous about the Celine ones just because that shape is not normally what I go for. Um, and I do wonder if maybe they're gonna be a bit too like 80s retro looking for me. Like not, I like a, I like a Sunny that gives off a fab vibe. I feel like the only other sunglasses that I have that are like not that vibe are my round Ray-Bans, which I'm still to this day four years, three years later after buying them, surprised that they look good on me. Um, and I don't mean to say that like I look good, I'm just saying like I don't think round sunnies look good on me at all, but I do think that those are the one that suit my face frame. Anyways, I'll report back and let you know. Um, I will be having all of these items sent over from the States and I'm hoping that I get them all before I actually go to the States and before the sale ends. Um, I don't know if any of these pieces are actually going to be in stock by the time I get them, but if I get them before the sale ends, I will do a try on for you guys over on stories more than likely, so be sure to follow me on Instagram so that you can kind of hear how, um, how I feel about them when they do come in. Last two things I wanted to share that I bought from the Nordstrom sale are two things that I bought for Louis and John. Um, I'm actually probably gonna go back and take a look at what they have in the men's department and um, again in the kids department. Um, I really thought about some of the baby gear, but I just don't know if I'm ready to commit to a stroller and a car seat for the States just yet. So I ended up landing on these really cute little shoes for Louis, these little Nikes. I just thought that they were so precious and I don't know why, but I just never think to look on the, on the Nike website here in the UK. So these were on sale. I thought they were really cute. So I got those for Louis. And then John actually has been needing a, um, a very specific belt. And um, there have been some times where we were going somewhere and I was like, do you have a belt that's a little bit more this shade? And he's like, no. So anyways, I was looking at the, some of the men's things and this belt was literally exactly what I was asking John if he had, like this shade of, of cognac. So um, anyway, yeah, I was so pumped. This is such a nice belt and it matches a couple pairs of his nice dress shoes. So, you know, I love a nice belt and shoe matching situation so I got that for John 
and that's it you guys that is what I bought I feel like all of those things are things that I know I'll get a lot of use out of and I know will stand the test of time in my wardrobe and that was more than anything what I wanted to motivate my purchases were there so many other things that I was tempted by and that I would love to buy in style for you guys absolutely <laughs> but uh, it costs a lot of money to ship things here so you know I I really think it's more important to um, be intentional about your purchases don't go too crazy just because something is um, you know super super cheap um, you know really focus on quality over quantity and I think that your wardrobe will thank you um, and you'll thank yourself when you see how long those pieces um, can last so anyway I would love to know what you got I always love to know what my friends get from sales and things so drop what you got in the comments below let me know be sure to follow me on Instagram I'll be sharing more pics um, on stories and then my like to know it page is updated with um, quite a few new posts and graphics and things that I personally own that are included in the sale this year so be sure to check um, my LTK page and I'm sending out exclusive content to my Nordstrom sale newsletter subscribers every day for the first week today I believe what I'm going to send out is um, my 50 picks of items under $50 um, there are so many good items that, um, and not even just clothes, I'm talking like things in the home department, in the baby department, in the men's department. So like all, across all departments, the 50 picks that caught my eye that are under 50. Um, I know everyone's on a budget, so I'm not trying to like poo poo on budget buys whatsoever. So I hope you didn't take that away as what I was saying earlier. But anyway, so if you want to be a newsletter subscriber, subscribe by clicking the link in the description box. And I think that does it for me today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will leave my outfit linked down below. The dress is old from ASOS, but my necklace, my cardigan, and my earrings are all included in the Nordstrom sale, so I'll link those down below for you guys. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see more videos, and turn on the notification bell to know when those videos go live. And please let me know what you want to see in the next fashion video. I would love to hear your ideas. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.